Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for being here. Got a new one, a fun one, from David Jonathan. David Jonathan, you know what that means, right? It's another David in the world of magic. That's what we need. We need more Davids in the world of magic. They're not, there aren't enough of us. There. <laughs> really, it seems like there's, there's Davids everywhere, right? Um, hey, this is called Ideal Meal. Uh, David uh, gave this to me uh, so that I could do the review. That was awesome. You can find it at davidjonathanmagic.com. What is it? What is it? Uh, it's a little box, and inside you got some meal cards. Uh, you have every stage of the meal. So if you were to sit down at a restaurant, you would pick out a drink, you would pick out uh, an hors d'oeuvre, right, or a starter, and then you would pick out your main course, and you would pick out your dessert. And you're going to have four options of each. And you'll have the spectator pick one from every single category. Then they'll have their ideal meal on the table. You will turn it over and show that there is prices for all of these on the back. Well, you then add up the prices, go to your wallet, pull it out, and from your wallet you pull cash. The only cash you have in your wallet and it equals the total for the meal they selected. And best of all, you can show the prices on the back of all the other cards, and they're all random numbers. There's no way you could have known they would pick those four selections. All right, ideal meal from David Jonathan and davidjonathanmagic.com. Let's say you pay $30 to your favorite magic retailer. What are you going to get? Uh, you get a little box. Inside that, you're gonna get all the cards you need. Uh, they're all beautiful, and they're not gaffes in any way. They're not trick cards. There's no double backers, no double facers, nothing like that, okay? Bright colors, uh, like I said, drinks, appetizers, main dish, and dessert. And, and you'll get access to an instructional video that'll teach you everything you need to know. Is it what I thought? Uh, yes, it is what I thought because it's self-working. Uh, the moment I first started watching the tutorial, you know, you always watch the magician. As a magician, you always watch the magician. And I could clearly see that David wasn't doing anything, right? And so I just figured it's self-working. The trick is gonna work itself, and it is. Is it well made? Well, yeah, I mean, look at this. You get this gorgeous little box, right? It says ideal meal on there. Local restaurant favorites, and it's nice and small. It's perfectly contained inside this box. Carry, carry this box as part of your presentation. You know, you could say these are uh, board game cards or that came out of a, you could say, hey, have you ever heard of this game, Ideal Meal? And it's a lot of fun. And you said, I got a, a packet of the, the cards right here. Or I mean, you could say any number of things, right? You could say that these were uh, cards from uh, the old folks home where your mom or your grandma lives. You say, hey, they give these cards to all the old folks at the old folks home and they let them pick out uh, their meals that way. Or you could say, uh, you ever seen how they select the last meal for a prisoner? Uh, they actually give them the option of going to uh, different restaurants and they can pick uh, the items that are on these cards. And so this is what you uh, give to a person who's getting their last meal. You could, you could say whatever you want. You could just say that these are cards that you made up for uh, places that are near you, right? And so, like I said, bright colored graphics, beautiful, right? They look completely legit. They're also uh, plastic. Right, plastic coated, which means you can take these to a restaurant or a bar, you can spill things on them, nothing's gonna happen. And you have the dollar amount nice and bright and big on the back. And like I said, every single price is different. No two are the same. And if you want, you can also get this in different values, like euros, uh, others, you can pick them up at uh, David Jonathan's website. All right, what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, it's filmed like all of David's videos. He does picture in picture where you can see the tabletop that he's working on and you can see his face at the same time. As far as what he's gonna teach you, you get an intro. There's a studio performance. He talks about what you get and the quality of the cards. And then he reveals the method and that's the first eight minutes. And really, eight minutes into this, you know the secret and you could just start performing it right away. 
Uh, then he goes into the history and he walks you through some setups. He's going to teach you many different versions. He's going to teach you an in the hands version, one that uses the table, how you could lay them all out in a grid. He's going to tell you how you could give people the option of changing their mind, even after they've selected what they've selected. He'll even talk about what to do if dollars are not the currency of your country. And then there's some final thoughts. Pocket space, like I said, it's all contained in that little black box and you could very well carry it that way. That's how I would carry it. That's how I would encourage you to carry it. Um, there's no angles. You know, you can show the other cards once the trick is over, show them with different prices on them. And David will even teach you some convincers to show you that if they had selected something different, the math would have come out differently. So they can all be inspected, right? They can all be inspected. And like I said, slights and difficulty free. There's no slights to this whatsoever. Now, of course, if you did some of the convincers that David teaches you, I think there's a double in there somewhere. But um, yeah, it's, it's so easy to do, which allows you to focus on the presentation. And don't ever get, uh, don't ever get persuaded by a self-working trick into thinking that you don't need to practice. You should always practice your tricks. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, really, you don't even need setup. I mean, you can arrange the cards any way you like. You wanna arrange them by restaurant, you could arrange them by uh, type, like put all the drinks together. You know, you, re you really could do it any way you wanted. If you wanna lay them out on a table, you could do it that way too. So um, setup is just, you know, however you're gonna to prefer to do this effect. Positives, uh, works great for beginners. Like if you're a beginner and you don't really do magic that much, this is perfect for you. Uh, if you prefer tricks that you can do right away and doesn't, don't take a lot of practice or memorization or math, you know, or self-working that don't have any sort of, um, you know, slights to them, this is perfect for you. And you literally only need to carry the cash in your wallet and the cards in your front pocket and you'll be able to do a fun little miracle that you are, you know, free to add your own story to. Negatives, I guess the only negatives are that there is a little bit of a, strangeness to the cards, right? I mean, what are they? What are they? And I, I, I threw out some ideas at the beginning and your spectator might believe that. I don't know, <laughs> right? But they are, a little, they are a little different looking. I mean, none of us have ever seen meal cards with prices on the back. So it almost kind of looks like it could be a magic prop and maybe your spectators will assume it's a magic prop. It doesn't really matter because it's still unexplainable. That's what magic is, right? It's an unexplained story or it's an unexplained puzzle. And you certainly have that with uh, Ideal Meal. So please examine the cards and try to come up with a story that you think best explains in, a, in as, as truthful way as possible <laughs> where those cards come from and how they fit with your personality. Is it worth your money? Uh, like I said, it's 30 bucks, right? And you'll get the tutorial and you'll get the cards. It's a self-working trick and they're plastic coated. They're not paper, right? They're very well made. Uh, very bright graphics, very clear graphics, very professional looking. This, this looks like it, a lot of time in uh, R&D went into this. And so I think it's a nice little walk around, especially something that you could do and perform immediately. You know, going out to dinner with all your friends. Uh, you could whip this out and, and play with your friends. And you could do it, uh, you could make different choices uh, with different people. So let's say uh, you had multiple people at dinner. You could have one person pick out drinks, one person pick out hors d'oeuvres, one person pick out um, the desserts, right? They could all make different, there could be four choices from four people and they could each roll them over, add them together and, and pull the cash out of your pocket. Like there's, there's so many approaches to this that really it's only limited by your imagination. And like I said, it's a brand new trick. It just came out last Wednesday. Uh, you can find it over at davidjonathanmagic.com. Uh, I hope that I've helped you answer some questions or maybe introduced you to an effect that you didn't even know was out there. And if that's the case, do me a favor. Do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. Click all those social media tags and buttons because that helps me. That helps me. I helped you. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Help me out. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subs this year. That is my personal goal and I'm making very slow progress towards that, but uh, goal nonetheless, right? Got, got my eye on the prize. Uh, big, huge thanks to David Jonathan for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you want to purchase it for yourself, that's where I would go. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.